Hello and welcome to another video. Ling Ling is back and today we're going to talk about all the things I can do or we can do in China uh, but that we can't do at home. Of course, it's uh, from a Danish perspective, so it might be different from your experience in China and in your country, but I'm just talking about my own personal experience and please leave a comment below about your experience in your own country and China or if China is your country, China and another country. Whatever you feel like, join the discussion. I love to hear from you. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started let's get into this video the first thing i feel i can do here but not at home is to randomly meet and bump into people and just add them on wechat yeah without a valid reason <laughs> i talked to a danish guy about this uh, last week and i was like yeah you know here you can just add people like you don't have to have a reason you just add them and be like oh yeah let's share wechat information contact information and i'm like that's amazing because you bump into so many different people everywhere and people who know people who know people. Like I feel like uh, my network, social network is growing so much, fast, much faster than at home because in Denmark you really have a really, you need a really good reason um, to add somebody if you don't know them or if somebody didn't introduce, or if nobody uh, introduced you to each other. So it's just really cool here in China because then when you need help next time you know who to uh, talk to and again you can you know find them on your WeChat and text them and you don't need a reason you can just say hello what's up how's it going and that's okay too so yeah that's definitely a thing I love to do here in China which I just cannot do at home <laughs> a second thing I can do here but not really at home is that here I'm already different so I feel like you know I just embrace this you know I just embrace the fact that I'm different and just do whatever I feel like because I'm different no matter what I do I can wear what I feel like I can do what I feel of course I don't act like a crazy insane person or do really like dumb or illegal things but you know in Denmark it's just people kind of dress very much alike everyone looks very similar and you don't really go and do something that's you know that nobody else does and like so when I come here and a good example is actually my phone cases because you guys know that I love the cute phone cases and Danish people don't really uh, do much like phone cases and if we do it's only like a very simple red or uh, not red a white black or white uh, phone case so I love here that if I find a phone case that's insane I just put it on my phone because nobody really cares because I'm already different and of course the Chinese people many Chinese people do it anyway but I feel like foreigners like my foreign friends here they tease me a lot about those phone cases and I get that at home as well but now I've just you know I've embraced it so much and uh, like bringing around these phone cases so when I go back to Denmark I use them anyway and it yeah, it gives me some attention and sometimes negative, but you know, it's mostly just for the fun of it and it's amazing and it's, uh, I feel more free, yeah, because I'm already different here, so I might as well just embrace it and go for it. <laughs> okay, I know that the third one, some of you guys are gonna be, probably going to be angry with me, uh, because the third one, the third thing I feel like I can do here but not at home is to ride on the wrong side of the road. And uh, yeah, I know that it's illegal and I know you shouldn't do it, but everyone does it and it's pretty often very difficult to change um, to the right side of the road because of big fences or bridges and stuff like that. So I give you an example. When I come, when I bike to my work, I have to go on the wrong side for a little bit until I meet the first lights, cross lights, and then I can, uh, uh, traffic lights, and then I can cross. Um, I could, if I wanted to, drive the opposite direction for half a mile and then turn around in the lights there and then go back. But I'm a lazy and everyone else does it. And the same when it comes to the traffic lights. Uh, if there's a green light that way first, I drive that way first. If there's a green light that way first, I go that way first and then I go the other. I don't know if that makes any sense, but people, they bike together with pedestrians. so. 
it's very common that you're biking on the wrong side, but it's convenient and because the Chinese traffic lights, it takes really, really long time to change from red to green. So that's what people do and I love that I can do it here. In Denmark, even though there are no cars at the traffic lights, I'm still stopping and waiting because I know if the police comes around, I have to pay a big fine and I don't like that, of course. And uh, yeah, it's just not really cool. You don't do that in Denmark, but here it's just... You know, whatever. Sui bien ba. Okay, the fourth thing, really amazing thing that you can do here in China, but not really at home, is that it's uh, not that expensive here. So you can eat out every day without going broke in like two or three days. In Denmark, that would be impossible if you have to, even just if you buy like a sandwich. Um, if you look at the same amount of money, of course, if you're in Denmark and a full-time worker, of course you have more money, but I'm just saying, um, let's say if I had 5,000 here and 5,000 in Denmark, it would be much cheaper here and because many people never cook here, so uh, the food in the restaurants is also cheaper because it's more common to go out and eat for dinner and lunch instead of uh, going home and making your own food. So that's really great. I can go out and be social much more than I do at home. Um, I tend to invite my friends to my house at home uh, to like keep the cost down. But yeah, I really like to be outside and be social. So that's an amazing thing I can do here in China, but not really at home. Then we have number five, number five. You guys are gonna think I'm so disgusting when I say this, but in China, <laughs> something I can do here but not at home is uh, burping and farting and um, spitting. Yeah, uh, because it seems like burping is whatever, nothing's d d nothing here in China. Uh, you burp and then you move on. Um, farting, the same thing, I feel like. <laughs> When people do it here, they don't, like, nobody really seems to care. Um, and the spitting, again, you just blame the pollution. And, yeah, the farting, burping, you just blame the food. So, yeah, it's just something you can do here. It's <laughs> very free. <laughs> it's very free. I also see people picking their noses, but, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But I'm just saying, you know, if I accidentally burp or if I fart outside, I don't give a shit. And then because nobody else gives a shit. So that's really convenient. <laughs> really nice. Free. Freedom. Yeah. Anyway, those were my five things that I can do here in China, but not really at home. So as again, as I said, in the beginning please leave a comment below with whatever you feel like you can do in China but not at home or what you can do in China but not abroad or you know what I mean. Uh, I hope you like this little video from uh, Ling Ling and yeah until next time hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are and I'll see you again soon. See ya and zai jian and bye bye. Mwah. Bye.